Hello, you're welcome. I'll solve this nice exponential equation. Solution from here. From what we have here, we can take 3 raised to the power 6 to the left hand side. That is, we have x raised to the power 6 minus 3 raised to the power 6, then equals to 0 here. That is, here, we can write this as x raised to the power 3, then raised to the power 2. As 2 times 3 here give us 6 and minus. Also, here we have 3 raised to power 3, then raised to power 2, then equals to 0 from here. Then here, this follows on difference of two squares. When we have a squared minus b squared, it's same thing as a plus b into bracket, then open bracket a minus b. That is here. What we have here? A standing as x raised to power 3 and b standing as 3 raised to power 3. But this, yeah, this becomes x raised to power 3 plus 3 raised to power 3 into brackets and also open brackets x raised to power 3 minus 3 raised to power 3 plus brackets then equals to 0 from share. That is, next step here, we have two possible cases. The first one, x raised to power 3 plus 3 raised to power 3 equals to 0. Or we have x raised to power 3 minus 3 raised to power 3 equals to 0 from here. Then solving from the first case here, this follows when we have a raised to power 3 plus b raised to power 3 this is same thing as a plus b into brackets then open bracket a square minus a b plus b square that is here yeah, this follows what we have and becomes x plus 3 into brackets then open bracket x square minus 3x plus 3 square close bracket equals to 0 here. That is here. Yeah, this is the same thing as x plus 3 into bracket and open bracket x square minus 3x plus 3 square that's 9 close bracket equals to 0 from share. Which implies here yeah, we have two possible cases as well x plus 3 equals to 0. Or we have x squared minus 3x plus 9 equals to 0 from here. That is, solving on this side, we have x equals to minus 3, which is a real solution here. Then on this side, we have a quadratic equation where a equals to 1, b equals to minus 3 and c equals to 9. Then from the quadratic formula, we have x equals to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Then what we have becomes x equals to minus minus 3 plus or minus square root of minus 3 squared minus 4 times 1 times 9 over 2 times 1. That is here we have x equals to minus minus plus plus and this becomes 3 plus or minus square root of minus 3 square that's 9 then minus here we can still write this as 4 times 9 then over 2 then Solving from here, we have x equals to 3 plus or minus square root of 9 here. We can factor it out and we have 1 minus 4 inside, then over 2 here. That is, this becomes x equals to 3 plus or minus square root of 9 times minus 3 all over 2. And when we separate this to 2 root, root 9, that's 3. We take it out and we have x equals to 3 
plus or minus 3 roots. Minus 3, same thing as root 3, i. Then over 2. Implies here we have two complex solutions from here. Then, solving from the second case here, this also follows when we have a raised to power 3 minus b raised to power 3 is same thing as a minus b into brackets, open bracket a square plus ab plus b square. That is here, all we have follow this and becomes x minus 3 into bracket, then open bracket x square plus 3x plus 3 squared plus bracket, then equals to 0 from here. Which implies here we have x minus 3 into bracket, then open bracket x squared plus 3x plus 3 squared, that's 9, plus bracket equals to 0 from here. That is, yeah, we have two possible cases as well x minus 3 equals to 0, or we have x squared plus 3x plus 9 equals to 0 from here. On this side, we have x equals to 3, which is a real solution here. Also here we have a quadratic equation, we are here equals to 1, b equals to 3, and c equals to 9. Then applying the quadratic formula here, this becomes x equals to minus 3 plus or minus square root of 3 squared minus 4 times 1 times 9 over 2 times 1. That is, yeah, we have x equals to minus 3 plus or minus square root of 3 squared, that's 9, and minus. We can still write this as 4 times 9, then all over 2. Then, here we have x equals to minus 3 plus or minus square root of 9 is common here. We factor it out and we have 1 minus 4, then over 2 here. That is, this same thing as x equals to minus 3 plus or minus square root of 9 times 1 minus 4, that's minus 3, then over 2 here. And when we separate this, root 9, that's 3, we take it out, and we have x equals to minus 3 plus or minus 3, root minus 3, same thing as root 3, i, then over 2. Which implies here we have two complex solutions as well. And therefore, all together here, we have six solutions in this given problem. Two resolutions here, two complex solutions here, and two complex solutions here. And thank you for watching. Don't forget these steps. Subscribe for more videos and turn the notification bell. Share this video with thumbs up and put your comments. See you next class and bye. Or not.